Hey there! This video is going to be about rebuilding your Kubota diesel cylinder head. Uh, it could be really on any diesel engine. Uh, they all plus or minus are the same. Uh, the one thing though that I do suggest is you don't do a full rebuild on these cylinder heads. They're very popular in China and you're actually able to buy the entire cylinder head completely brand new for like four or five hundred dollars depending on your model. So completely not worth buying the materials, you know, taking it to a machine shop, getting all the dowels, all the guys all the valves uh, just don't 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 waste your money on that don't waste your time on that you're gonna spend way more than simply buying a brand new head however if your cylinder head is in pretty much good shape and all you have to do is let's say for example the valve seats you know just uh polish them a little bit you know butter to that the cylinder head is pretty much good then you know it's kind of worth it to spend that little time you know a couple hours and cleaning it off uh do, replacing the seals doing that other than that like i said just buy a brand new one they're they're so cheap you know and you you you'd spend way more, more time and money. So the first thing, like I said, with the cylinder head, I'm gonna polish up the uh, valve seats. Uh, and what I'm gonna use is this polishing compound. It's called a valve grinding compound. And it has a uh, diamond or uh, other polishing material. And pretty much uh, you use this suction thing. And on the other side, you put that compound on the valve seats you insert the, your valve and you polish it little by little, little by little, checking over time and eventually you'll get it cleaned up. If your valve seats are shiny, there's you see no scratches, no dents, no nothing, then you don't have to do this process, you're fine. Um, but if you do see any damage, then it is suggested to do that. Another thing I suggest is to buy brand new injectors. Again, you can buy the injectors for like 60, 80 bucks for your entire set. You know, so it's just, they're like 20 or 30 bucks each. It's just not worth trying to rebuild them or putting in your old ones and eventually they get clogged up or whatever. There's my cylinder head. I already had it cleaned up. I actually did a hot tank with this and it came out really pretty good. Um, well, not amazing, but you know, uh, decent enough. I should have done the concentration a lot higher, um, but I also was doing the main body tank of it, so I need a lot of water. But it's right. I mean, it it does the job pretty well. So, like I said, I'm gonna be using this valve grinding compound. You can buy this stuff on Amazon, and you can actually buy a full kit, as you see this in the background. Um, and you know, it, it comes with these little things, the uh, with the, the valve remover, because you will need this valve removing tool. Um, you again, you're able to uh, loan it from AutoZone for free, completely for free. You just put it in deposit, and once you uh, return it, they'll give you your money back. Um, so, other, but other than that, uh, you're you're gonna need the suction tools. So I just suggest buying it. It's like twenty bucks the entire kit. Uh, but yeah, so let's get started. So what we're gonna do is reinsert the our same ones that we had before. So I'll show you how to lap the valves. So again, I'll be using this valve grinding compound. And all you gotta do is insert this, add a little bit of oil down there near the seat so when you're rotating this, it uh, spins easily. Um, secondly thing is, you don't want this valve lapping gr uh, compound to go on the valve stem itself. Uh, you don't want it to grind away on that valve gr guide, you only want it to grind away on the seat. So add a little, uh, only add a little bit of amount, you know, don't, don't add too much. It's, and then the third thing is get us some sort of like rubber or silicone hose. And on the other side, what you'll do is you'll put this on the end and with a drill, you'll mount this to the actual uh, valve and you'll use that to spin it around. It's important to have this uh, rubber tubing because otherwise if you grip it directly to the uh, valve then it'll, if, with any slight angle with the drill it'll all translate to this valve stem and that will cause issues. So yeah, uh, that's pretty simple. Um, I'll just show you how I do uh, this one and then I'll do the rest. So as you see, I'm spinning it and occasionally I'm lifting it 
and that helps the balls or the uh, grinding compound re refill in the spaces and I'll also change directions try to keep the drill as straight as possible Again, remember to not get any of the valve compound, grinding compound, inside. So what I like to do is always get a bunch of napkins, just get a roll of them. But I like to put it inside, and while I'm wiping, I wipe upwards. And then on the finishing pass, we can wipe it all out. And yeah, uh, as you see, it's pretty good. Uh, it's not a clear, you know, mirror finish as you'll get from actual machine shop, but it's a hell of a lot better than it being all scratched up. And yeah, so uh, better than nothing, I suppose. Uh, like I said, though, you know, just get by a brand new one. Don't so last thing is to uh, insert uh, your new uh, valve seals. Uh, so make sure you get new ones. Don't get you know old ones. Uh, typically, when you buy a gasket kit, it'll come with it. So yeah, it just come. It just you just push it onto the valve guides, and that's it. Um, just make sure you do this before you reinstall the valves. Now that we got all the valve seats all cleaned up and all pretty, you know, all shiny, no scratches, and no nothing. Uh, now we can start installing them back in. So uh, make sure you go with the one that you. Do. So the same valve goes in the same one. So once you got it compressed, you just grab two of the locking thingies. Get a little now once you got it sit it right in place, you can open it up. You'll see a little groove and you want it to sit right both of them at the same exact spot. As you open it up, it will uh, open up free. And that's it, all you have left is to put in the uh, the cap, but we'll do that later. So I'm gonna do the rest of them. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's that simple. With this tool, it makes it a hell of a lot, way, way easier. Here we go, all installed. Uh, what I suggest is do not install the injectors yet. Install it when you already put the cylinder head on the engine. The reason why is because um, the injectors are a bit of a pain to torque down. Uh, they require a lot of, you know, torque. Uh, so it's just a lot easier when it's, you know, mounted on the engine instead of it being on here and you're trying to hold this and then trying to torque it at the same time. You know, just don't. Just do this, do this later. So, that's the end of the video. Uh, like I said though, don't spend your time with this. Just buy a brand new cylinder head and forget about it. Though, again, it depends on the case scenario. If it's good enough, then why waste extra money, right? But, you know, uh, I'm gonna send, uh, finish up with the last part of this series on how to rebuild your diesel engine. So please subscribe and hopefully I'll be uploading soon. It won't be take as long as this time. I'll make sure to set, uh, upload it soon. Hopefully this week or next week.